I find myself in Huế again and again as I truly enjoy the peaceful and laid-back atmosphere of this imperial city. There are many tourist activities that you can do in Huế, including dragon boat ride along the perfume river and eating cơm vua or royal meal in which you can leave yourself back in the old centuries at the luxurious atmosphere while enjoying the eye-catching and best chosen dishes from various specialties of Huế in royal costumes and royal folk music. It is said that the emperor lived a truly luxurious life. Each of his meals was prepared and served by hundreds of chefs and servants. All the royal foods are super nicely plated, reminding of dragon, phoenix, peacock, etc. Hue cuisine has a good reputation all over Vietnam. It's not only to satisfy the food needs, but also considered an artwork. Today I'm gonna replicate a dish that I've got a chance to try in a royal meal in Hue called Cơm Sheng or Lotus Rice. Let's begin! Helen's recipes. To make lotus rice or cơm sheng, you're gonna need 200 gram of pork. Uh, you should use lean pork and dice them like this. And you also need half a cup of lotus seeds. You can buy the dried lotus seeds in the package at Asian store, or if you can get fresh one, that would be perfect. You also need one cup of uh, mixed vegetables. Inside, I have some corn, carrots, and green peas. Three cups of cooked rice, and about a quarter cup of shiitake mushrooms, which I have soaked in hot water for about 15 minutes to soften. If you like, you can also use some mint strings as well. Season the pork with a teaspoon of minced shallot, or you can also use the white part of chipping onion, uh, some pepper, and about a teaspoon of fish sauce. Mix well and set aside for about 15 minutes. Firstly, boil the lotus seeds for about 10 minutes if you are using fresh lotus seeds. Um, if you are using dry ones, Make sure you soak them in water for about an hour and then cook for about 30 minutes. It depends on the kind of lotus seeds that you use. Make sure that they are soft but still in their shape. And then we're gonna drain it out and use the water to cook the rice. So the rice will have a nice lotus flavor. Now squeeze out the excess water in the mushroom, remove the end parts and then dice them. Heat the wok on medium heat and add about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Then fry some minced shallots until fragrant and then we're going to stir fry the pork. When the pork is no longer pink, uh, you can add in the mushrooms. Stir for about 30 seconds and then we're gonna add the rest of the vegetables. And also half of the lotus. We're gonna save some to put on top of the package later. Add a teaspoon of chicken stock. Now we're going to add in 3 cups of cooked rice and also stir well. Next we're going to put the rice into a lotus leaf and then steam it so um, the rice will get the fragrance from the lotus leaf. So you use a bowl and place the lotus leaf inside and we're going to Firstly, put the 
the lotus seeds at the bottom of the leaf. Now we're going to wrap it up. Now we're going to put the rice package into a steamer and steam for about 10 minutes. Um, if you can't get fresh lotus leaves, you can use dry ones and you can buy those at the Asian grocery store. If you can't get lotus leaf, then uh, maybe you can use aluminum foil instead. Okay, let me give it a try. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Now we're gonna scoop, get some rice and all the delicious stir fry into the bowl. And we're gonna serve this with a bowl of uh, soy sauce with some chili in it. And you can adjust the soy sauce to your liking. The lotus leaf is really soft and the lotus leaf left a really nice fragrance on the rice and all the ingredients really go together really well. If you decide to give my lotus rice a try, don't forget to send me a photo of your food via Twitter, Instagram, Facebook or Google Plus. Just put a hashtag Helen Recipes and I can find your photo on social media. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.